Hello and welcome to the channel. You're probably wondering, what am I doing here next to a busy highway where the audio sucks, the framing sucks? Well, that's because there's an actual billboard back there behind me that I created. And today I'm here to talk to you about what you need to accomplish the blowing up of an image and getting it printed on a billboard. We're not only gonna go over the minimum that you actually need or the maximum that you should have, we're gonna go over cropping, the actual scaling of it, and the actual amount of megapixels that you not only need as a minimum, but what you should probably have to give yourself some cropping headroom. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, here we are in my computer. Just to set the stage, I wanted to show you all a couple of billboards that I not only designed, but they actually got printed and hung up in the real world. This one got printed up as a 24 by eight. This one here got printed up as a 12 by four. And then there's some more in my files, but we're just gonna push on with the video just to give you an idea that this is the size that got printed in my area. Now, let's push on to show the huge variety of different sizes and formats that this stuff is gonna be printed on. In my area, Lamar is head and shoulders above the rest of the competition as far as the number of billboard placements and nationwide, they're pretty dense. So this is probably gonna be one of the big guys that you're dealing with. And so if we scroll down here, we are going to see, let's come on down to Common Bulletin and Tri-Vision Templates. That's what they call their billboards. It ranges from four foot by eight foot all the way to 20 foot by 80 foot, okay? And if you notice, it says with bleed. So for those of you who have not done print work, whether you're printing billboards or on paper or anything, usually you'll have a bleed. And bleed is basically extra printed portions of an image that may or may not be shown, may or may not be cut. It's basically some wiggle room on the edges of your image. So the total image doesn't need to be four by eight for the small one. It needs to be five by nine because that extra perimeter around the edge may or may not be shown or cut. And you want the whole thing to be wrapped around this billboard. You don't want any white edges. And so they always have to be printed with the bleed. It is not optional. They're advising you that your final image must be a five by nine as the smallest. And as the largest, it needs to be a 21 by 81 so that it can be printed correctly. So what does that actually mean in megapixels? Well, if we come up here, it'll give us an idea of how to set up our project, which I will show you, and I will also show you the size that the that, that scale actually is in comparison to a 24 megapixel file from my Fujifilm. 24 is pretty dead center on the average of today's cameras. Most are you know, most for those us regular folks set between, you know, 20 and 36 megapixels. You can get some smaller, you can get some larger for sure. But this is what most of us are going to be working with is this 20 megapixel range. So that's what I'm going to show you. So the templates are for every half inch that equals one foot scale at 300 DPI. So the way that math works out is whenever you're setting up your template, that's going to be 12.5 PPI actual print resolution. So you would set it up as a five foot by nine foot at 12.5 PPI to create your files. Now my editing software does not like 0.5. So you can do 12 or 13. I rounded mine up to 13. And now let's just double check that. So this is one that is the largest that I actually had to create. It didn't get printed. Uh, but I created one and it was a 12 foot by 40 foot. So that's going to be sort of on there. It's right here, upper size, but definitely not the largest. Okay. So that needs to be actually created at a 13 foot by a 41 foot, right? 13 foot at 41 foot. And that's a accounting for six inch bleed on all sides. So that's going to be 13 foot by 41 foot is the image that you're creating and is going to be printed and cut and mounted and wrapped around or glued to or however they're putting these things up. I believe they're using wraparounds right now. Um, the actual finished image is gonna be 12 foot by 40 foot, but you're creating a 13 by 41 foot, not inches, foot. And so here's 
the same uh, same specification just in a sheet style instead of a template style 12 foot by 40 foot so it says 12.5 inch pixels per inch on the final product uh, yada 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 it's just all the same information with more detail because this is more of a spec sheet that purchasers are going to want to care about like the warranty type of vinyl it's printed on the type of substrate all that sort of stuff uh, the accepted file formats pdf tiff or eps i print i save mine as a pdf anyway y'all do how y'all want to do with all of that information let's jump into how this actually scales okay so this here is a this is the smallest one which is going to be the four foot by eight foot print area so the actual document size we're creating is a five foot by nine foot at I created this one 13 pixels per inch not 12.5 again affinity photo does not like the 0.5 it wants the full round numbers so to give you all an idea this is a 24 megapixel image to scale this is 24 megapixels laid on top of if you look up here you would actually need one up here in the top left 1.1 megapixels to cover this document here this uh, billboard to be printed and so to give you a scale that is how absolutely way oversized 24 megapixels is uh, to give you further idea here's a couple that I actually upscaled within reason to about 50 ish megapixels for larger printing so if I pop that up that's even bigger and this one here was taken on anamorphic lens so it's actually wider instead of as tall but there's a 24 megapixel there's a 40 ish 50 ish megapixel right there 24 50 ish 24 and 50 so now let's go to the largest that I actually printed let me go ahead and grab all these so I can copy them over all right now let's come over here this is the largest one that I actually printed or had printed sorry which would be the 12 foot by 40 foot actual document size 13 foot by 41 foot at the 13 pixels per inch scaling so let's paste those alrighty come on there we go so here's a 24 megapixel image laid over the actual printable document the document size is 5.48 megapixels so again we have more than enough at 24 megapixels however if you go larger than this you will quickly scale and you'll quickly realize let me blank these out and I'll show you all that not only do they get larger here's the largest one but they get so smallest one upper middle size largest one you see they also get narrower so you have to increase the amount that you're cropping so for instance let's go to the 12 correct yes 12 foot by 40 foot here so if we bring up the 24 megapixel image and we scale this down to fit it right there now we still have quite a bit of cropping that we have to choose to do uh, if you're interested this is a Corvette Grand Sport replica with a 502 cubic inch big block cammed straight piped absolute pleasure to even see in 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 the real life but anyway this is gives you an idea of the width versus the height look at how much we're having to crop off of the top and the bottom of this image now again we have plenty of cropping space because here's where it started out at but let's come over and bring those same images onto this right so this is the big one this is the biggest largest one that you may be printing as a 20 foot by 80 foot actual document size 21 by 81 okay the document size here is 41.4 megapixels and it is super narrow super narrow off on off on so for example this is a 24 megapixel file 
and I'm not even getting to take advantage of the full 24 megapixels. I'm losing some space at the top and the bottom already, and I'm only about halfway across the width of this billboard. So even at 13 PPI, 24 megapixels scaling is still not enough to even come close to covering the 41 megapixels. So do you need to go out and buy a new you know, 61 megapixel A7S R4 or maybe a Fujifilm a 100 series or a 50 series GFX medium format? Uh, if you want to, sure. Or we can just grab it, we'll scale it, we'll put it how we want and see that just and also, this is a great time to highlight that if you are going to be taking an image for print, especially billboards or vertical prints, they're often the same similar aspect, but vertical, very thin and narrow for these pop-ups and these stands and stuff like that that are in stores. Like if you go to the grocery store, for instance, and you see at the entrances and exits or next to the fruits, these printed ads, they're usually narrow. They're usually not squares because they're going to be freestanding, made out of some sort of cardboard or cardstock or something similar. And so they're going to be tall and narrow. So you have to keep that in mind and you have to give yourself an enormous amount of cropping room whenever you're doing these images, which again would make your actual subject further, which means you would need more initial megapixels going into it because you know you're cropping so you're living yourself all this cropping headroom etc etc this image right here would not work for a billboard if i wanted to print it like that it's just not going to work i can't get the whole car in here i'm not going to cut off a tire that one's uh doo, doo butt cheeks trash we're going to trash it and bring up one of the larger images that is scaled this is an oversized image this one is uh almost 50 megapixels and it's still, because the 50 megapixels is more of a rectangular, a tall rectangular format, a standard uh, image sensor format, I still can't cover it. But if I scale it up, and then I can drag it, and then now this is a usable, very usable, very good looking crop. And then whenever you go to export this, you would just save it at the highest pro uh, quality, and then you can set your resample instead of bilinear if you do bicubic or if your computer can handle it. The Lang Lankazos, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a more sophisticated, more accurate way of upscaling these pixels. Then when they go to print this, it's it's gonna look really good still. And keep in mind, these people are seeing these enormous billboards anywhere from you know, 50 to 300 to 500 feet away. If it's something this big, they might even see it from further away than that. So if you have to upscale your image, these new image processors can process it and upscale it very well. And it's still going to be a really good looking image. And also another thing to keep in mind is that this is print. They're not going to be looking at a digital screen usually now there are some digital billboards out there they're not very ubiquitous there's not many of them out there the resolutions are not that good um, you just kind of get what you get with those but on a printed billboard the actual ink on the paper will smooth out a lot of your pixels if you have to upscale it now if you have just huge huge way oversized like if I'm taking a 12 megapixel and trying to throw it up on a 41 megapixel super thin format like this and upscale it that much it's gonna look bad but if you're doubling or even maybe tripling the size of your image whenever you go to upscale it it's still gonna look good digitally upscaled properly it's gonna look even better in print because the actual print, the ink on the paper, or the vinyl in this case, is going to smooth out the edges between one pixel to another. It's, it's going to look good. It's going to look good. Don't be afraid to upscale your images. If you feel like going out and buying a huge medium format or an R-series Sony camera, do whatever you want to do. But don't feel obligated unless a huge majority of what you're doing is large, large, large prints. You're doing huge billboards, these 80 foot wide billboards, or maybe the size of buses. So if this is an image is going to be viewed up close. So let's say we're printing it and we're sticking it um, 40 foot wide on the side of a bus 
and we have an A7S III, a 12 megapixel camera, and now we've got to blow that up, but people aren't seeing it from 50 feet away. They're seeing it from five feet away. Then you will notice you're upscaling at a much more rapid rate. You could upscale it some still, yes. If you get much more past a doubling and upscale, it's gonna look like hot trash. It just is, because people are close enough to see the pixels, the dots, if it's a printed format. So with all that in mind, you can upscale depending on how far away people are. I am not going to upgrade my Fujifilm X-T4 just for printing the occasional billboard. It doesn't make sense. The viewing distance, even if I upscale this triple what my actual original image is, because the viewing distance is so far away, it is literally unperceivable to the human eye at these viewing distances that people are seeing billboards at. If I get into a line of work where I'm having to do this much large printing that's too big for the 24 megapixels that is seen up close within an arm's reach, within you know a couple of footsteps, you know, 10 feet and in, then yeah, I'm probably gonna need to upgrade um, to, uh, I would probably go with the Fuji GFX line just because I like their colors. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of getting outside the realm of this. Guys, just don't forget, these people are seeing these billboards from a huge distance away. It is completely fine to upscale your images a little bit. And the overwhelming majority of the time, you're not going to be printing a 20 foot by 80 foot. This is extraordinarily expensive for a, for, for a company to even pay to get this billboard placement. So probably the bigger ones you're going to be printing are going to be like 20 by 40s. To the the ones that I printed the 12 by 40s stuff like that that your 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 20 ish megapixel files are more than enough to handle more than enough so that is the answer your range is between 1.1 megapixels all the way up to 41.1 megapixels and a very thin aspect ratio. That is your scale. That is the true specifications from the actual owner and manufacturer and printer of these images. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to stay on top of all my stuff and you'll have a great day.